Today I will show you how to make this realistic CRT effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and for this tutorial you will either need like a phone or a console like that can film, for example like 3DS. This is an old console and a DS works actually even better or if you have a PSP or a PS Vita that would work very well. Any of those handheld consoles would be insane and if you record with this Thing, it will look crazy if you see here and it will work very well if you record the music videos with this first thing you want to do uh, for this realistic CRT effect is find like a clip you want to make into a CRT so for example I like this clip of Netspend and Xavier so based from their new music video and what you can do is like press B to bring this timestamp right here all you need to do is just film the part you actually want so I'm just going to use my phone it doesn't have a really good camera it's like a very mediocre camera the worst the camera the actually better but if it's like so bad like you won't even be able to tell what the hell is happening so i recommend to have like bad or just mid tier okay now what you want to do is just play the video and record so yeah i'm just gonna record it now why we're doing this is to get like those lines that look like a tv line and now you need to import that into your computer but i'm going to do this as well with my 3ds to show you what you can do i uh, again you can use like a camcorder or basically whatever like whatever you have that's like a console or not a console like a digital camera like that would work fantastic you can actually hold it like with your hands as well you don't really need like a tripod the more shaky it is the more cool i think it will personally look now for like a camera like a 3ds it might be a bit difficult to transfer the files to your computer i like to use a laptop and i just take out my sd card for my 3ds get it onto my laptop and for my phone you can just connect it with your charging cable i guess i'll be back when i get done moving the videos to my computer all right so now i have imported the files here is the phone file that i filmed on my mobile phone and this is the 3ds they're gonna have like some really weird names so i would like recommend to name this like phone recording or something this one i mean if you have a 3ds of course the 3ds recording but this can be anything else also i'm just doing these like to show you like you can use just one like whatever you want i just want to show you what happens when you use these so if you add the phone recording now and it will look like this i mean of course it will look probably different for you but as you can see you already start to see like that tv screen that you see in the crts what we can do here is we can position this well, drag it like this, you know, drag it around and press S and then just scale it up till it fits your liking, I guess. I also want to show you how it looks with the 3DS recording. It's going to be very tiny because this is a 3DS. So with the 3DS, you might like you will need to scale up super much. Okay, as you can see, that is already such a terrible quality. 3DS might actually be too bad for this. So for a 3DS, I would recommend to press Ctrl Y if you want to make the CRT effect. Now, press ctrl shift d to cut it up a bit so when you have like a really bad camera you want to add grid and here you just want to make the size from the width and height sliders make the width to like three height to four border to one color to dark blending mode to hard light all right that looks pretty cool and here we can add like s flicker and we just want to make it flicker insanely much another thing i like to add here is cc lens with this one you just want to make the size like really high and the convergence like really low something like that looks really cool and i like to also add exposure make it a bit higher and another thing i like to add is glow you need to make the glow intensity like a bit lower to like 0.5 i guess and the glow radius like really high to maybe like 100 yeah and that's starting to look like an actual crt tv that looks insane actually one thing i like i would like to do here is to add transform just because of those uh, black bars and i'll scale it up a bit i can scale up like this you can press ctrl y and add a motion tile uh to give like a uh, black bars and we can make the wood to like 80 or, or 75 actually 75 was a bit cooler i think this is going to flicker very much and it looks pretty close to an actual crt tv and we can do a similar thing for the one we filmed on the phone actually take this what we made press ctrl d just bring it over and let's see how it looks here that looks pretty cool already so what you can do is you can select both of them press pre-compose and here we can call it like full comp 
press OK. And now right click, press pre compose again. And here you can call it CRTED. And move out your bits in the new composition. Press OK. Now double press on the CRTED and go to composition, composition settings here. And here we want to make the width to 720 and the height to 480. Now this is just a little test. This might be a bit too of a low quality, but let's just see. And I'll, I'll make the I'll make the scale to 37.5. And if we exit out to the main comp and we press S and scale it up a bit more, that basically just made the quality very low. Okay, I think that looks amazing. Uh, minor adjustments we can do is we can go to the CRT and we can go to the full comp. And here in the full comp, we can add fast box blur. So we want some blur. And here we can make the blur radius to so like one. Yeah, if you want, you can add like some noise as well. Tamp it up a bit. Uncheck use color noise and make the noise to like like 15, I guess. And also, guys, I would like to let you know that I have a Poikas.com website where I sell video editing assets. The video editing assets are basically just like presets or overlay packs. They just help to make these type of effects a lot faster. I don't have like a CRT pack, but if you guys are interested, I have OPM packs, VHS packs, and with the VHS presets, you can basically make the VHS effects very fast. Like you can, for example, go to the full comp and then instead of like this whole CRT effect we just added, we could just press Control Y, go to effects and presets. And here we could use some of the VHS effects from my VHS presets pack. If you have the VHS presets pack, you already know there are a bunch of effects. This is actually the amount, it's like over 40. And you can scroll and pick whatever, like for example, VHS 20. I really love using these effects in my edits. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I use this pack a lot. And yeah, basically like you can get a look like this. And if you exit out to the main comp, it will look insane like this. this is the effect you will get like a really realistic vhs effect but you can add like some simple ones like vhs one and i will give you like uh, this bit more of a simple look and yeah just a bunch of looks to mix up with the crt style for example i really like this vhs aura it's kind of like a experiment i did i guess and this is how it will look out in the main comp it's like a very nostalgic vhs effect it looks like that i kind of wonder how it would look with the crt effect combined i think that would be cool yeah if you exit out you will have like this aura crt the effect a very nostalgic look yeah just yeah that right here looks crazy this is the car that we're driving yeah these looks bring out a lot of the crt and the vhs and yeah, i really like to combine these in my edits i know these work very well with music videos as well and if you guys are interested in the vhs presets pack i also have a five dollar discount code for supporting the channel which is called povicas you can use it to save five dollars off on the vhs presets pack or any other pack but yeah guys thank you for watching the video again i'm not too sure if a great quality camera will work for this because the crt tv is basically like a really low quality tv uh but anyways guys it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya